like having her in the class. I know you guys are going to enjoy her. She's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Mary Ann Gordon. Let her know. Whoa, hello. My name is Mary Ann, as you already know. A um, little bit of information about me. Um, just moved here recently from Denver, Colorado, just like Gary, uh, with my husband, Philip. Um, and in Denver, I practiced law for quite a few years. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Everybody's sort of thinking about all the worst attorney jokes you've ever heard. So let me just set the record straight. I hate attorney jokes. I think they're lewd, crude, and degrading. Except for this one. <laughs> so a drunk walks into a bar, right? And he goes in and he goes, I think that all attorneys are sneaky crooks. Guy in the back of the bar stands up and says, excuse me, I really resent that comment. Trump looks at him and goes, what, are you an attorney or something? He says, no, I'm a sneaky crook. <laughs> ah, yeah, everybody loves an attorney joke. Attorneys are hated. But you know, when I went into practice, I went into a very gentle, very caring, field of, of law. That's right, I was a divorce attorney. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, well, anyway, I chose to represent only women in my practice. Only women. Thank you, ladies. You know, I knew what you wanted when I was an attorney, and I got you what you wanted. That's right. Your exes really hated me, and I don't know why. I mean, I play fair. It could have been the motto, our law group had a motto. It was, remember the alimony. <laughs> yes! I got you that alimony. Oh, yeah. Being a divorce attorney, I was extremely hated. I can tell you this. I was, um, I was harassed, I was stalked, and I was assaulted. Dangerous job. And that was just by opposing counsel. <laughs> oh God, but I knew I had to get out of being a divorce attorney. It was just too, too dangerous. So I figured it would be safer for me to represent thieves and murderers. Much safer. So I went into medical malpractice. <laughs> no, no that's going to try to put down doctors to elevate attorneys. I mean, I'm just not going to do that. No, I won't do it, especially because one of my ex-clients is here in the audience. Dr. Stevens, how are you, sir? It's so good to see you out on parole. <laughs> finally, 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 finally. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put down the medical profession. Because really and truly, it's hard for me to believe how hated attorneys are, where there must be at least, at least 10 other professions more hated than the legal profession. Okay, maybe two. <laughs> maybe not. <clears throat> but at any event, let's talk about dentists. Dentists, come on, dentists are so hated. They're hated, they put you in pain. I mean, wh what happens to you when you go in to see a dentist? What do you get? You get a little prick in your mouth. <laughs> oh, sorry back there. <laughs> and who in this room can actually tell me that a, and that a lawyer is worse than an IRS tax auditor. Come on! <clears throat> That's right. I mean, for example, a lawyer and a tax auditor are drowning in the Gulf of Mexico. What do you do? You can only save one. What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, what are you gonna do? Take a nap or read a book? <laughs> All right. 
before I go, I want to leave everybody with a very, very, very valuable piece of advice. And I'm not charging you for it. <laughs> so at some point in your life, each and every one of you will need an attorney. You will. Except for this guy over here who's already gone through a dozen. <laughs> but you're going to need it. So here's my advice to you. And you may have heard this before. A good attorney knows the law. And some people say that a great attorney knows the judge. But that's not true. A great attorney doesn't just know the judge. A great attorney screws the judge. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been very nice. Big round of applause. Let her know, folks. Let her know. Hang on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen.